Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to introduce the ABAP Cleaner. ABAP Cleaner is a plugin for Eclipse that can be used together with the ABAP development tools. The ABAP Cleaner formats and refactors ABAP code according to defined rules. The ABAP Cleaner is open source and can be found in a GitHub repository of SAP. The link is included in the video description. So we open now the GitHub repository and we see here the ABAP Cleaner consists of a set of rules. And now let's scroll down to the requirements and installation. Here we copy this link because we need this link later in the Eclipse software. So let's open the Eclipse. If you have not yet installed the software, I provide you a video with the installation instructions at the top right. Here we click on help and install new software. And here we paste the link. Then we check the box uh, ABAP Cleaner. And we click on the button next. Then we see some install details and we click on the button finished. Here we have to trust the, uh, the unsigned uh, packages. And after that, we have to restart the Eclipse. After that, we log in to our test system. I pick my examples package here and I open some programs to show some source code. And here we have a source code. And now let's uh, click on source code. Then we see here the three new entries of the plugin. Clean up with automated ABAP cleaner, clean up with interactive ABAP cleaner and so on. So let's click on the last entry. And here we see on the left side the original code and on the right side the formatted code. We see here the profile default is picked and here we can set the ABAP uh, version. So in my case, I pick 7252. Then I can click on the configure button. And here we see uh, two default profiles, first default and essential. And the default profiles consists of 63 rules of 66 rules. And if we click on the uh, single rule, we see the formatting option of every uh, rule for example here on the left side the uh, original code and on the right side the formatted code for example unused variables uh, will be deleted then we can uh, on this rule for example for the command it's not the star used just a quote here, the operators, the old one is never used, equal or not equal. If not, is changed to is not, and so on. Call method, you can call the method on another way without the exporting and receiving parameters, for example. Then create object is the old way to define an object. Here the new operator is used after the formatting or refactoring. And some align uh, options uh, are also used here in this plugin. For example, the method call. Yes, so 
if we uh, pick the essential profile we see only 28 uh, rules are used from the 66 and here you can also create your own profiles uh, which you need for your uh, development team so we can go back to the code this is the read only preview now let's uh, close the oh no no we can click here on the single line then we we see which rule are used for this uh, formatting in this case unchain into multiple statements if we don't uh, need the formatting for this code we can uncheck the box and so this rule uh, will not affect the code and we can scroll down do the method call here we see the, the exporting parameter a, uh, the rule omit optional exporting parameter okay and now let's close the read only preview and we click on the menu source code again and now we pick clean up with interactive ABAP cleaner and here we see the, the difference again and now we click on the button apply and close and now we see the formatted ABAP code we see the declarations every line with their own data statement alignment and we can activate this code okay after this we can open a new program to check if there is some other things to format or to refactor we check this call method is different for example yes and we can say that the ABAP cleaner saves a lot of time it ensures a standard standardized set of rules in the development team because code that is always formatted in the same way is also easier for every developer to read it makes it very easy to refactor old code and avoid unnecessary code so if you like my videos i would be happy about a subscription to my channel and a like you can also let me know your thoughts in the comments i always read them with great pleasure thank you and see you in the next video